Have you ever watched a horror movie and said, I sure hope that never happened to me? Well, on this adventure, I was in for a treat. You good? Holy cow. Yeah, seven hours later. There he is. There's a fish. Come here. Oh, come here. That's a fighter, dude. Come here. Oh, get up here. Get up here. There we go. Check out that beautiful fish, guys. That is an Oscar. Got him on super light tackle. Pretty little fish. Those guys are so aggressive. So I got up this morning at 3 a.m. Just 4 a.m. We've been on the road for an hour already. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna head to the Everglades and just do a little one day trip down here. And that is exactly where I'm at right now. This place is so awesome because you never know, it, you may get eaten by a gator. He's coming. Oh! Ran over by a car. Strangled by a python. You never know what's gonna happen, but I absolutely love it. I highly recommend you coming and down here and doing this at least once. We're gonna drive this whole highway, see how many species we can catch. I've got a little ultralight white curly tail that I got from our tackle store. And I've already got the first fish out of the way. <laughs> So that's, hey, that's a, that's a bonus right there. I've made about five casts. Oh, there's another bite. There must be a bunch of them in here. There's fish. Oh, what is that? That looks like a, what is it? Hey, that's another species, y'all. Check it out. This is actually a Mayan cichlid. It's the first one I've caught this year, and it's an interesting catch because we had a huge freeze. They said that a lot of these invasive species like that died off. So I have caught a Mayan and an Oscar today. There's a fish. Ah, what is this? And that is just a regular brim right there. That is just a bluegill. And so that is another species as well. There's a fish, come here. Oh God, dude, look at this guys. Look at the size of this bluegill right here. Holy cow. Now that is a stud bluegill. That is so cool. It's every single cast. <laughs> this place is so wild. What's up, little buddy? How you doing? This place is so wild, and I love just walking through these areas with an ultralight, just seeing what I can what I can catch. There's just so many different species. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish down there. Oh my goodness. Oh, come here. LMB, LMB, pretty little LMB right here. Got him on the trout magnet. That trout magnet is a deadly, deadly bait. There's a lot of exotics like tilapia and stuff swimming around. And I need to, uh, in a minute, I'm gonna try to catch those for bait. It was at this moment that I knew I had screwed up and hung my cast net on a rock. Walking out in the water in the Everglades to retrieve my cast net is not my idea of a party. Let me just tell you. And this right here, folks, is the walk of shame. I'm just going to keep what I catch and use it for bait to try to catch like a, ooh, there's something looking at it. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a big tilapia. I don't necessarily want him, and I don't think he'll eat anything either. Ooh, something just ate it. The heck? 
There's a fish. There he is. Come here. That is a warmouth. We are wearing the the species out so far. I've been here about 15 minutes. Oh, and there's a gator right there in front of me. Look at that guy. I'm gonna use this warmouth for snook bait. Ooh, got him, dude. He hammered it. Another big warmouth. I say big. He's not that big, but they're crushing this little pink trout magnet right here. I love that lure. Pretty warmouth, just out in the middle of nowhere. This place is so wild. Not another car in sight. Middle of the Everglades. Love it. Oh, that gator turned around that time. He was like, hey, I see you have Dana. Oh, he's coming over here. Uh-uh. Hey, dude, I'm just trying to fish, bro. Uh-uh. Hey. Hey. I'm just, tr look at him. He's coming right at me, y'all. I'm just trying to fish. Mm-mm. Dude, you're messing my bite up. You're messing my bite up. God, I'm gonna have to move now. He messed me all up. There's a lot of fish out there. A lot of them. Ooh, there's a fish. Got them. <laughs> Yo, we on a hot warmouth bite. These are gonna be primo snook baits. We'll be good to go. Ooh, something tried to eat it. Got him. That one may be a little big. I'm getting plenty though. We're gonna release this guy. We are on, we are smoking the war mouth. Goggle eye, whatever. When I was a kid, we used to catch these. We, in the rivers, we call them goggle eye. Pretty cool. Got them, dude. The war mouth bite is fire. Look at these little guys. They are everywhere and that is so cool. Beautiful fish. Look at that guy right there. Pretty little fish. Hello. Ah. Ooh, got him. Dude, they, that is wild, man. Every cast, man. Every cast. That's bait size there. Look at this guy coming after my war mouth. I just, he just saw me catch a war mouth. He rose up and this is a giant gator. I mean a big one. Look at this guy. He is not scared. He's coming in here hot. Whoo, that is spooky, man. Hey buddy. You just ruined my fish, my fishing spot too. All right, I was on a hot war mouth bite and you just ruined me. All right, look at this guy. Good gracious. Woo, okay. I was coming up here to try to fish, all right? Ooh, got him. Got him. That's another species here. This is a sunfish of some sort. So we are, we're catching the species today so far. I'm wanting it to get just a hair darker for me to go and do some uh, snook fishing. I want, it, I want to do that later in the afternoon. Yeah, there are fish everywhere. This is amazing, dude. Absolutely amazing. Come here. So cool. War mouth. Y'all don't realize how many fish that I'm looking at here. It is absolutely insane. It is insane. But it's funny, not many of them are exotics. Usually you get the exotic species, but most of these are, oh my gosh, I just didn't even re real. All right, I, I'm sitting here talking y'all i'm sitting here talking look at these gators one two three four five six seven eight nine gators good gracious that's absurd come here the war 
your mouth bite is on, son. Whew. I would not want to fall overboard right here. Good gracious. Like, I'm sitting here looking at probably a hundred fish down here right now. I'm going to drop the GoPro on another video. This is crazy. Y'all comment below and let me know what type of sunfish is this. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, I want it to get just a hair later before I go snook fishing. Let's go hit some bridges, see if we can catch a snook or tarpon or something like that. I know, talking to some locals, and they said that the freeze hurt the snook really badly. The chances of us getting on them might not be that good. All right, y'all, we chunk in a little sunfish under this bridge right here. See if we can catch something big. Guys, it is the next morning, and I did not catch any snook yesterday afternoon. I pulled right up here to the snook spot to try to catch one this morning, and I just had the worst thing imaginable happen to me. I got a rental car, and those are my keys right there, and I just shut the trunk thinking that it was unlocked, and it automatically locked itself with the keys in there, and I'm literally in the middle of the Everglades, and it's, I gotta flag somebody down. I got my phone's in there and everything. This is so bad. No car keys, no phone, very little cell service, no food, no water, and I'm in the middle of the most remote place in the entire state of Florida. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I just need a telephone, dog. Come on. I can't get anyone to stop. I need to, I, my phone is locked in the car. I need to use a phone and this is just so brutal. After a couple hours of very little success, I finally got a couple people to stop and they were nice enough to help me out and let me use their phone, although this ended up turning into a bigger disaster than I could have ever imagined. Let me see if I can do this on my um on my app. What's your, um, verify your date of birth for me. It's 5-17-1984, Grant Peacher. Some guy was nice enough to stop, so now I'm calling to see if we can get this taken care of. Now I've got to wait. My car is on the side of the road, and they, they said that they might have somebody coming within an hour. Uh, I called my rental car company. The guy was nice enough to, to stop, and give me his phone i'm just gonna sit here and hope for the best man I, I i can't do anything else i don't know what else to do so we're going on six hours i've, I've gotten to use the phone twice now i've had two different cars stop both times i was told by the rental car company that they were sending someone out here so at this point i was getting a little concerned the rental car company had told me twice now that someone was coming but no one ever came and it was getting later into the afternoon i still had no food i had no water i was dehydrated i felt terrible and i had a real concern that i might be staying the night in the everglades i'm very close to breaking the window i found some rocks that may be hard enough to break the glass i don't know but that is that if i don't if somebody doesn't show up soon i'm not spending the night out here so we are gonna have to break the window i just spoke on the phone again because i got someone else to stop and they said that the rental company made a mistake and they weren't actually sending anybody out here but now they are and so that's where i'm at luckily this um person was nice enough to bring me some water a minute ago what's super strange is so my car and truck when you unlock the doors and leave the keys inside it won't allow the car or truck to lock this one sh i did that here and this shut the entire car down after what felt like an eternity 
of sitting in the hot sun on the side of the road, I was finally able to flag down a guy that worked for a tow truck company. This was the moment that I had been waiting for. He was such a nice person, willing to help. Whoever you are, thank you so much. You literally saved the day. Why don't you get my truck and cool down? Oh, I'm okay, I appreciate it, yeah. I've always wondered how they did this. <laughs> so I, you know what I think's happening? The key's inside, and I, I think you may have to actually get hit the unlocked yeah, po the portion. I think it's not letting you. It's in some protective mode. Yeah. Like, all right, so let's try to pull it back to your right. Go in there. Go a little bit to your left. A little bit to your left. Little up, right in there. Now pull it back to your right. Hard, hard. Oh, now see if it opens. Holy cow. Unbel it was in a shutdown mode, man. <laughs> Holy cow. That has been a long time coming. Is that right? Good. Holy cow. Yeah, seven hours later. <laughs> okay. I All appreciate y'all right. coming out. Thank you. you bet. The cops just show, finally, seven hours later, everybody's showing up to help. <laughs> and that, folks, was the end of what could have been something really, really bad. It was getting late in the evening, and I did not want to spend the night in the Everglades with no water, no food, no phone. Thanks so much to the gentleman that stopped to help. He was compensated well. Thank you so much. What an adventure.